package shielding effect and its periodicity so this is the new topic to you that what does mean by the shielding effect so let's start the topic with the introduction of the shielding effect now what does mean by shielding effect so shielding effect it is the reduction in force of attraction basically it is the reduction and reduction is in the force of attraction and the force of attraction is between the nucleus and outermost most shell outermost shell electrons and this reduction is due to the presence of inner subshell electrons so this force of attraction is going to be reduced due to the presence of inner subshells this reduction is known as shielding effect so how we can explain the shielding effect you can also uh, have another uh, definition like this the inner electrons shield the outer electrons for example if we have a structure of an atom in the center there is a nucleus and the outermost we have one atom like a and on the other hand we have the atom b for example center nucleus it is having total three shells in the atom a the force of attraction between the nucleus and the valence shell electron is more because in between there these two nucleus and the electron there is only one inner shell but on the other hand when we see in the atom b the nucleus and the outermost shell or the outermost electrons present in the shell they are having or the experience of two inner shells so there are two inner shells so there is more force of attraction between the nucleus and the valence shell more force of attraction on the other hand there is less force of attraction so where there is less force of attraction there is the more shielding effect and because there is only one inner subshell when one inner subshell mean less shielding effect on the other hand when there is larger number of inner shells then it's mean there is more shielding effect so this is the simple concept of shielding effect this is a simple reduction in force of attraction between the nucleus and the outermost shell electrons due to the presence of inner subshell electrons so this is the shielding effect next let's discuss some examples related to the elements of the periodic table the first one element for example in the group 1a we have lithium lithium its atomic number is 3 so let's have its atomic structure center nucleus so we have to arrange three electrons like this on the other hand when we are talking about the sodium and a its atomic number is 11 first shell is having two electrons second shell is having total eight electrons and the last one shell is having only one electron so in the lithium we see that the distance between the nucleus and the valence shell electron is less as lithium is having less number of inner shells inner shells and sodium is having total two inner shells two inner subshells as compared to the lithium so lithium is having less shielding effect as compared to the sodium so this is a simple example related to the shielding effect between the atoms of an element in the periodic table next we have trend of shielding effect in the period period we move from left to right as we see from left to right 
in the periods lithium it is having the structure like this then we have beryllium it also has only two shells next we have boron it also have two shells next we have carbon it also have two shells then we have nitrogen it also have two shells then we have oxygen it also have two shells after that we have fluorine it also have two shells and then we have neon it also has two shells so there is no change there is no change change mean no increase or no decrease in shells or we can say that in inner shells so the shielding effect in the groups will remain constant so the shielding effect will remain constant in the periods when we move from left to right in the periodic table so this is the simple trend of shielding effect in, along the period next we have the trend of shielding effect across the group so let's discuss it from top to bottom in the group when we move from top to bottom for example we have hydrogen it is having one shell then after we have lithium it is having two shells then we have sodium it is having total three shells then we have potassium it is having total four shells so when we move from top to bottom top to bottom there is increase in number of inner shells inner shells it's mean the shielding effect is going to increase when we move from top to bottom so there may be a question arises that why shielding effect is going to increase in groups so the simple answer of this question is that because the number of inner shells is going to be increased so that's why the shielding effect in the groups from top to bottom in the periodic table is going to be increased so this is a simple topic related to the shielding effect of an atom of an element i hope you guys understand about this and if you have any queries you can ask me about that in the next section for that time have a good day and allah hafiz